It's a list of the dead. There are so many, no one can remember all their names. I never knew there were that many immortals. Oh no, it's everyone across Avium that fell in the Everwar. The Palathon tracks it somehow, all the way back. You know, we're still not really sure who built this place. A bit morbid, really. Having a massive death list right when you walk in, now that I think about it. Oh, hello. I'm Devin, by the way. Just got back from the front. Jack, stationed at Yilthium Fields the last few weeks. I'm from Serum, originally. Is that right? I've never met anyone from East Lucium. And you still haven't. Said I was from Seren. Ah, oh, nice. A little provincial machismo. Let me show you around, Jack. Promise it's not all a big down. I, uh, really need to get to selection. Absolutely no idea where to go. Come this way. I'll show you. I remember Kirken talking about a Jack from Seren a few times. Said you'd make a great immortal one day. Huh. She said that? No. I'm just trying to calm your nerves, man. If you don't mind me asking, how long have you been an immortal? Oh, ages. Well, a few years. But immortal years are like dog years. They stretch on and on. So you're the best of the best? You sound doubtful. It's a cheery disposition. But the Rishanians have sent writs of assassination to every quarter asking for my head. They hate me over there. I'll get some of those writs myself just as soon as I look up what writs are. I'm sure you will, especially as a triarch. We don't get many of those. Well, any of them, actually. So what's the secret? How do you do it? Don't know. I just do. I see. You just do. No need for hard work and discipline when you can just do. Good lesson for the kids. Is this part of selection? You busting my balls? <laughs> no. Selection is much worse. We're almost there. Got another one for group five. No. Oh, stop. He'll be your star pupil. Jack here's the soldier that was crucial to the rout at Yilthium Fields. Kirkin's pet initiate? I'm literally standing right here. The path is ready for this group, and I'm not asking her to reconfigure for one more. She'll complain and give everyone in the Palathon nightmares for a week. Get ready. Those doors open, you go in, one at a time. Come on, Zendara. You know the path already senses he's here. Okay, why are you talking about it like it's alive? It's not happening, Devon. On the one hand, nightmares brought about by a cranky magical gestalt conscious state. That's okay, ignore me. It's cool. On the other, a stern lecture from Kirken for playing needlessly hardball. I know which one I'd pick. You weren't here for my speech to the selection candidates, initiate. So I'll give you the short version. So it is happening? Shut up. Welcome to the path. Stepping through that door means you think your magic is strong enough to issue a challenge to the Pentasad. That you fear no judgment or censure for doing so, and that your life word to the ley lines is forfeit if you're found wanting. The really short version? Don't fuck up in there or you'll... <coughs> like... For real? More like absorbed into the path and removed from existence. But don't sweat it. I believe in you. She definitely thinks you're going to die. That's why her face looks like that. But don't let it shake you. And anyways, optimism is a moral imperative. I'm Zandara of House Cadis, warden of the path and oath sworn to the immortals by ancient treaty. It was nice knowing you, Jack, hero of Yilthium Fields. A smarter man than you would have ended this day on a high note. Isn't she great?
see how it is. Boosie. 
He gave this to Luna on her birthday. Right before everything. Saren. Bits of it, anyway. I call dibs on the shoes. Caleb? First time fumbling about in Seren. What? I grew up here. Don't move, shitbird! Best crab in the Harrows. Kill most. But we both know that's not really crab. How far from here to Trotter's place? <laughs> By a rooftop. He's siren born and bred, guys. Settle down. Where's your people? I don't know. You need any more? That was the day I met Luna and the others. Guess we're not playing fair anymore. rooms I got no idea but it's fuck huge so probably a lot there's just the five of us then eventually we might all get really lonely who cares come on check it out that whole thing whole thing how are we gonna defend that whole thing what what we squat a place like that we need to figure out how to keep it nah it's ours I bought it. How did you... Wh where did... It's not a mystery, Jack. I saved up. I wanted a house and now I have one. I missed you. She was so proud that she found us a home. And that... That was the last time I actually had one. Thanks for the reminder.
about you that you'd surprise me seems like kirkin really talked me up to everyone i don't mean kirkin i mean the path she knows i don't expect much from the unforeseen are we heading towards a backhanded compliment or we zoomed right past it. okay magni of the great houses don't exactly hide their prejudices do they against your kind we have good reasons my kind wow you know, just because I, uh, spontaneously exploded with Magnus-level magic or whatever, doesn't mean that Don't I- Don't worry, Initiate. I won't let it cloud my judgment of you. You're different. How so? You're one of us now. Sandrak's western incursion has been pushed back to the Sky Islands. Only his harriers remain. Hey, congratulations. And so what now, I hear you ask? Surrounded, but for now unpressed, do we send our forces north to lift the siege at Lavenry? Or fortify the southern front? Marshal our strength, or test its limits? I'll be honest, I don't know which move is best. But I do know, we have reinforcements. We do? She means you, dummy. Welcome, Jack of the House Unforeseen. Newly mantled immortal, champion protector of Lucium, master Magnus of the Order Elite. What words do you have for those under our command? Are you serious? They're waiting for your answer. Don't take five years. <clears throat> Hey, so, so when I was a kid, I had this friend that wanted to fight in the Ever War. I can't believe I, that I used to give her a hard time about it. She never got a chance to, um, well, Rasharn attacked and, uh, well, I don't even have to finish that sentence. Everyone here has a story that starts or ends with Rasharn attacked. 
And everyone here has survived those stories. But there are so many that didn't. Too many. Their names fill the walls of this place. No more names. No more names. May all of Lucium honor yours until the end of days. What? Bottoms up? So, what now? This is your party, Jack. Mingle. All eyes are on you. Mingle. Bask, even. What about the stolen artifact? It was like a big, glowy crystal with etchings all over it. We're scouring the archives. Nothing yet. Go enjoy yourself. Get to know some of the people you'll be working with. Or if the pressure to socialize is too much to bear, head to your new quarters and turn in for the night. So, Zendara. I know. Just saying, kinda rained on my parade to get through selection, and then she says, my kind are trash. Dangerous. Anomalies, mistakes, insults to the Pentasad. These last five years, I'm sure you've heard it all. I just figured, I don't know, that there might be more enlightened views among the immortals. I won't make excuses, because there are none. It's an ugly aspect of the Magni dynasties and their rulership across Avia. You already know, the Lightless have it worse. Devin seems nice. For an elite Magnus. And he's taken a shine to you. That's good. Devin's never really been comfortable at the Palathon. Really? I can tell he misses the front. He prefers field work. Soldiering. Huh. Wouldn't have pegged him for that. Devin's our best fighter. That's why we need him back here. So, do we get secret handshakes? Several. Seriously, though, is there a new manual or something that tells me what my duties are now that, you know... Those come later. Honestly, the Order's traditional training and initiations are more informal more agile than they have ever been in the past. It's not ideal, but the current state of the Everwar means most of your education will be in the field. Do I get to finally know what the name is all about? The Immortals? We borrow our name from a more ancient Pentadi order that once practiced here. The Un Avlashud, the Enduring. They had learned to stretch time and live inside it in a way that mortality meant nothing to them. That sounds fake. It probably is. In any case, the Pentadi eventually vanished, but the legends that they had conquered death didn't. Those that founded our order saw no downside in being associated with such power and prestige. So it's branding? Pretty much. Good night, sir. Good night, Jack. Mingle. This is going to sound like a really weird question. Didn't you see me die in the path? That's the one. 
you were the candidate that, uh, got horribly crushed by, well, you know. I do. Horrible stuff, am I right? At least it wasn't as bad as my last goat selection. I took a nasty spill into a pit of quicksand, head first. Took me the whole next summer to restore my equilibrium and good spirit. If I never suffocate to death again, it will be too soon. Unbelievable. Ah, I see. You were told you could be killed during your test. They tell that to every first-timer. Keeps the blood up, am I right? The senses razed. Let me get this straight. You can get mauled, stabbed, burned to death, or just straight up fall to your death, and the path just... You've been bamboozled, my friend. It does make you feel bad about it, if that helps. An eldritch little whisper in your head as you leave, telling you, you're shit, and it lingers. I can't believe it. When you think about it, though, wasting a talented, well-trained Magnus on a silly death trap when they could instead die capturing a hill at the front is a terrible trade, and, well, also a stupid one. And Kirken's definitely not that. So what, the path just resurrects you? She's her own transitory fold between worlds, and she'll make her own rules while you're inside, thank you very much. If you waste her time by dying, she'll spit you back into the lobby with egg on your face. Ugh. Where are my manners? Congratulations on your success, Jack of the House Unforeseen. The kingdom is better for your coming. I'm Magister Greaves of House Belmay, three-time selection washout, and now champion of your name and deeds. It's an absolute honor to make your acquaintance. All right, Bellman. I should go. <laughs> Ambassador Damily, it's been a while. Indeed. The immortal glyph looks good on you, Jack. Kind of does, huh? What brings you so far from the Northern Court? Hmm. I suppose that you're an Order Magnus now, so I can't keep secrets from you any longer. The King has appointed me as Royal Advisor to the Palathon in his time of... absence. You're here because of the King's absence. I don't understand. Sandrak's siege of the capital. It's worsened. The Lightless don't know how bad it is. Kirkin's even been given emergency powers by the Crown. The Palathon's the acting capital of Lucium? That means Lavenry's nearly fallen. She never bothered to tell me. The North will soon be lost to us, Jack. The King's in hiding. I'm surprised you weren't informed, with you being one of Kirken's closest confidants. Curious. I have to go, Ambassador. So, what she make you see? What? The path? Yep. She's long on visions, that one. I spent as much time reliving my father's disappointment in me as I did fighting phantoms of the enemy. Well, I... One more right cock up like that and you'll never get accepted into the academy. Then what, Devin? Spending the rest of your days conjuring up fertility spells for the county dirt farmers? I gave him the accent like that for effect, by the way. And the volume. In reality, he was quite cultured and hardly ever spoke above a whisper. You know, I think... A disturbingly low whisper, too. Like this. He could make a room cold in the summer with it. <sighs> Horrible. But he's dead now, dear Pop. My older brother took over from the family business. Rugs. And I'm an awful merchant, so that meant off to the war for me. It doesn't sound the so... The path made sure I knew my true calling is what I'm trying to say. I'm good at war, Jack. Great at it. And I hate that. Now, where were we? You're just going to talk over me, aren't you? I don't think so. So what don't I know about Kirkin that I probably should? She ever tell you the story about the arm? It's never come up. Five years and it's never come up. Uh-huh. You and everyone else are just too scared to ask. Fine. So what's with her arm? I haven't asked. Can you not? I get the distinct impressions and Dara doesn't like me. At all. 
she's, well, not really a big fan of the Unforeseen. She made that pretty clear. It's not her best look, I know, but she's royalty. They've always been suspicious of Magni born outside of their jurisdiction. Royalty? No lie. She's a Carthusian princess, Awazendara. Her family still holds the Glaive Gate despite everything Sandrak's done to that country. Don't worry, Jack. She'll come around. That sounds like a lie. I met Orfe on my way to the Palathon. What's their deal? They're one of our intelligence officers, a seer of considerable power. Orfe's great. Sometimes you have to cut through the static if you know what I mean, but it's worth it. Yeah, I caught some of that. Get to know them more. It's good to have a seer watching out for you. You should also meet Hauser, though it seems like he decided not to show tonight. How typically rude. He's another immortal? Indeed. Bit of a bigwig from the Northern Court who plays at being mysterious, treats the Order more as a hobby than a calling. Don't tell him I said that. I'm sure he'll turn up at some point. All right, I'll see you around, Devin. Captain Soko. He sends Sandrak's vanguard packing and promptly aces selection. You make it seem easy, sir. Please, don't start calling me that. You're an immortal now, sir. There are protocols to follow. Nope. See? Every time you say it, it's just weird. We'll both learn to survive it. I should be going. I just wanted to make sure to congratulate you before I left. Don't leave yet. You're one of the only people I know here. Lightless and Magni don't exactly mix at functions like this, sir. Also protocol. What? No. You're a captain. Just because you can't use magic doesn't mean you can't be here. You should be able to go anywhere you want. Only on the battlefield. This event strays a little too far into your end of society, if you take my meaning. I'm not. <sighs> I I've never been like that. And I've always appreciated that about you, truly. But neither of us have the time to bend history when there's a war to win. Have a good night, sir. You certainly deserve it. Hey. Not now, Initiate. Oh, okay, yeah, got it. But Kirkin just thought I should break the ice with everyone. Get to know you all, you know. You don't think we've done that already? Sure, but that time... sucked. It's not gonna get any different. Now go and enjoy your party. It's the last one you'll see for a long while. You were at Yothium, weren't you? I was, sir, yes. Halen Mead's oldest. <laughs> Named Silas. Right, right. Good to see you made it, Silas. Well, I certainly wouldn't have if the Grand Magnus hadn't blessed me with her spell of protection. What do you mean? You don't remember, sir? She touched my armor and warded it against the Rasharnians. We Lightless would be lost without your magic and guidance. I'll never question the motives of the Magni again. Not that I do, of course, ever. No, no, you survived the battle on your own. Magic had nothing to do with it. That was all you. That... that can't be right, sir. I was in the West Trenches when the Rasharnians hit. It was a massacre. My whole platoon was cut down. I only barely got away. Wait, you're saying the Grand Magnus lied to me? What? No, no, she was, she was just giving you a pep talk, you know? To find your courage. I think you might have just gotten confused as well. Confused? Is that how you do it then? You Magni throw glamours over us lowly, lightless soldiers? and send us at the enemy, believing we're indestructible? Stop it. Uh, forgive me, sir. I, I just... The war, it's getting to me. I'd better go. Hey, Orfe. What's shaking? We're probably at your graduation party, where we're politely refusing to remove our mask. Or... We're discussing Aristea again. Are you sure that's where we are? Forgive us if we aren't, Candle. The years get wet in our head. Right. It's the seer part of being a seer, I guess. The kind of time jumpy thing with you. 
Red, chaos, green, transition. They mixed when we were given our magic by the Pentasad. One lives in our right eye, the other in our left. Causing a temporal thingamajig. Got it. And probably at this point, I asked to see your eyes. You'll forgive us if we say no, we hope. So as a seer, you're what? Like maybe our reconnaissance officer or something? You look for what's coming our way? We work as an intelligence specialist, yes. Remote recon is part of our duties. You're convincing Zandara to let you walk the path, for example. That's back a ways, actually. But Kirkin said you can see the future, too. In theory, half the time. What? We know, for example, that you must eventually refrain from making covenant with the low beasts of the field. Um, is that code? It sounds like code. Maybe, but Devin's our code breaker, so it's best to ask him. Wait, no, you never do. Sounds like it's settled then. Good chat, Orfe. These are my quarters?